All right, so here's my mutual fund investment as of January 27, 2021. And nag-invest ako kay Phil Equity Fund na mutual fund. So that is the fund name. And then ang present market value niya as of today is 106,970 pesos and 90 cents. And ang total na in-invest ko is actually 94,000 pesos. So, ang current gain and loss ko is more than 12,000 and expressed as percentage that is 13.80%. So, if you want to learn how you can exactly earn by investing in Philippine mutual funds, then keep watching this video. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Omeng Tawid from SmartPinoyInvestor.com and I make weekly videos on personal finance and investing. So if you want to learn more strategies on how to grow your funds, then do subscribe so that you get updated on our future lessons. So for today's lesson, I'm just gonna share with you yung aking experience in investing in Philippine mutual funds. And if wala pa naman kayong idea about mutual funds, so I had two videos explaining the basics of mutual funds and how you can invest in them online. So pwede yung panoorin yon in my previous videos. But for those who are new, so ang basic concept lang ng mutual fund is it is an investment option designed for busy individuals. So sa mga entrepreneurs or sa mga empleyado na walang time to really monitor their investments and to look at it every single day. So mutual fund is a good alternative lalo na kung ang long term mo is at least 5 years. So ito yung maganda sa mutual fund, no? hindi mo na kailangang aralin pa. Ang gagawin mo lang is ilalagay mo lang yung funds mo sa isang mutual fund company or investment company and yung mutual fund manager na yung bahala na magpalago nun. And that exactly what happened in my investment after around 90 days. Even though ang mutual fund is designed siya for sabihin natin 5-year long-term investment, wala naman pumipigil sa inyo na magbenta or i-realize mo yung kanyang profits by the time na makita mo na na meron ka ng gain. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Ilalock in ko yung profit ko sa aking mutual fund after more than 90 days. Okay? So ano ba yung kailangan nyo para mag-invest sa mutual fund? So basically, uh, kailangan nyo lang mag-open ng account kay Call Financial or kay First Metro Securities. So ito yung mga online brokers that we have in the Philippines that allows us to invest in mutual funds all online. So, ang application yan is also online and panoorin nyo lang yung mga previous video ko on how to do it. So, for now, ang isi-share ko lang ngayon is what exactly happened to my mutual fund investment after some period of time. So, again, if you already have an account under kay Call Financial or kay First Metro Securities, so, meron na yung option to invest in mutual funds. So, itong mutual fund tab, so pag click mo yan, so lalabas yung call fund source. Ito yung kanyang uh, platform if you guys want to invest in mutual funds. And I can click here my portfolio. So ang kagandahan sa mutual fund is you can monitor the exact market value of your investment on your screen. So kahit sa cellphone mo na basta meron ka lang internet and you can log in into your account. So makikita mo exactly magkano ba yung tinutubo mo or possibly nalulugi. So, I just have to make it clear no, na ang mutual fund is hindi siya guaranteed investment. Ang ginagawa ni fund manager sa pera na nilalagay mo sa kanila is nilalagay din nila yan sa stock market, sa bonds, o kaya sa money market para mapalago yun. And then, pag napalago na nila, then obviously, yung nilagay mo sa kanila is uh, will follow. It will have its own gain. And if nalugi din naman yung pinaglagyan nila, then it follows na malalugi din yung investment mo. So, ganun lang yung design ng mutual fund. Maglalagay ka lang ng pera kasi fund manager na yung bahala. And then, um, if you want to withdraw it, then pwede mo namang gawin yun subject to the conditions of the mutual fund. So, may kita natin yun later on. Again, back to the screen. So, ito yung aking mutual funds portfolio. Meron akong uh, investment kay Phil Equity Fund. And ito yung kanyang pinaka-presyo, no? net asset value per share. That is 34 pesos and... 0.0022 and then ang average price na pagkabili ko kay uh, Phil Equity Fund is 29 pesos plus ang total shares ko that I have now is 3,146 
Okay, and meron tayo ditong column na uncommitted shares. So, meaning to say, hindi mo pa ito binibenta. And ang kanyang market value, which depends doon sa market value kung saan nag-invest yung field equity fund na ito, is 106,000. And ang nilagay ko dito is actually 94,000. As I can show you later on. Kaya meron akong ganitong gain na 13.80%. So, kailan ako nag-invest? So, may kita natin yan guys sa view orders. Ayan. So, may kita mo naman yung iyong historical orders. If I click on this one, so, lalabas yung aking mga mutual fund orders. So, here, for example, um, itong pinakaluma is March 23. Uh, Kinancel ko siya. So, wala namang nangyari dyan. But on April 7, so this is uh, shortly after the pandemic, may nilagyan lang akong uh, 4,000 pesos. So, maliit lang. Kasi yan lang yung available funds during that time. So, ang price niya during that time, so that is net asset value per share, is 27 pesos and uh, 0.3718. Okay? But after 5 months, more than 5 months, so nagdagdag na ako ng 50,000 pesos dun sa the same mutual fund. And uh, by that time, umakyat na actually yung price niya. So from 27, umakyat na siya to 28.85. Okay? And then after uh, less than a month, so nagdagdag ulit ng 40,000. And umakyat na ulit yung price niya. From 28, naging 31.57. So again, we have to remember here that mutual fund is actually designed for long-term investing. And nagkataon lang na... Naglagay ako during the times na bagsak yung presyo ng market because of the effect of pandemic. Kaya medyo mababa yung naabutan ko actually. Okay? So currently, ano ngayon ang price ni Phil Equity Fund? So ito yung mga price na bumili ako. Pero ano ngayon yung price niya as of January 27, 2021? So may kita natin yung dun sa ating portfolio, yung pinakita ko kanina. And that is 34 pesos na. So kaya pag sinuma mo yung mga gains nung aking mga orders na yon, itong mga historical orders. So, pag uh, sinuma mo from my purchase price, kinuha mo yung difference dun sa current price niya. So, makukuha mo yung uh, bawat profit dyan, bawat gain. And pag tinotal mo yon, so, parehas naman yung lalabas dito niyan, 12,970 pesos. And, if wala pa kayong idea paano bumili, so, pinakita ko din yan sa aking previous video. But essentially, kailangan nyo lang pumunta dito sa order entry. Marami naman diyang mutual fund na pagpipilian mo and ayan, so bahala ka ng pumili diyan. Meron na akong video lesson on how you can exactly do your selection on how to find the best mutual fund for you. So pwede niyo panoorin 'yon. Uh, but for now, ang ifo-focus natin is how to redeem. So parehas lang actually yung how to buy or how to invest and yung how to redeem or how to withdraw. Initially, magi-invest ka, yung cash mo magiging shares. And once you are happy, you can redeem no your investment. Meaning to say, from your shares, gusto mo na siyang i-convert into your cash. And mababalik na yung funds sa iyo. Again, looking at our portfolio, I just like to highlight here, no, itong XPEQ, uh, meron siyang sarili ditong terms and conditions na tinatawag. No? So, bawat mutual fund na under here, so iba't ibang mutual fund kasi yung mga nandito, each mutual fund, Uh, meron niyang mga its own terms and conditions. For example, uh, si XPEEQ or siya yung Phil Equity Fund. So, meron tayong management fee na 1.5%. So, ito yung parang binabayad natin sa mutual fund for managing and growing our funds. Okay? So, may 1.5% na annual yan. Dahil nag-invest tayo through Call Financial, so wala tayong front-end fee and wala rin tayong back-end fee. So, ito yung kagandahan sa online investing. And for this field equity fund, meron siyang minimum holding period na 90 days. Pwede mo namang i-redeem yung investment mo. Let's say nag-invest ka, pwede mo naman siyang i-redeem less than 90 days. Malimbawa, after a month, kumita na siya, pwede mo siyang i-redeem. Yun nga lang, meron tayong tinatawag na early redemption fee, which is 1%. Pag nag-redeem ka naman longer than 90 days or after longer than 90 days, makakancel naman itong early redemption fee kasi na satisfy mo naman yung kanilang minimum holding period. Okay? And then itong dealing cut-off time, so ito lang yung cut-off time nila when you transact with them. Okay? So that is 10.30 a.m. So we need to see if you will buy before 10.30 a.m. So mapaprocess yon during the day. And if nagtransact ka naman after 10.30, so mapaprocess naman yon during the next uh, business day pa. 
Okay, so yun lang yung idea nun. And uh, pwede nyo naman i-select dito or i-display dito yung uh, some more information about this mutual fund. Kung ano yung call risk rating niya. So this is 7 meaning medyo risky siya. Kasi ito yung kanyang gauge no? from 1 to 8, low risk yung 1 and high risk is 8. So 7 yung kanyang measure. So meaning this is really one aggressive uh, type of mutual fund because naka-invest siya sa stock market. Kasi ito ay equity type. So yung mga types of investment guys or types of mutual funds na discuss ko na yun sa ating previous video. So please uh, watch that para mas ma-appreciate nyo yung content ng video na to. Alright, so again here ang kanyang minimum holding period is 90 days. And if I go back on my historical orders, ang last order ko actually is October 23. And today is January 27. So lagpas na tayo sa 90 day na na minimum holding period. So, meaning to say, I can sell or I can redeem my investment, my mutual fund, and hindi ako magkakaroon ng penalty na 1% for the early redemption fee. So, ganun lang yung, ano, ganun lang yung idea ng mutual fund. All you need to do is to open an account with a broker. Pwede kayo kay Call Financial and First Metro Securities. And then, you place your order entry here. Pipili ka lang ng mutual fund company. So, limbawa, PAMI Equity Index Fund, ilalagay mo lang yung amount. Let's say, mag-invest ka ng 50,000. Okay? Actually, meron tayo dito may kitang minimum initial amount. So, here, ang kanyang minimum initial amount is 1,000 pesos lang. So, imagine, with your 1,000 pesos, you can now invest in mutual funds. Before, this was not possible. Uh, hindi ka papansin yun ng mga brokers, no? But because online na ngayon, so, madali na tayong ma-accommodate even if we only have 1,000 pesos. But of course, uh, nothing is stopping us to invest more than the minimum uh, initial amount. And meron ditong minimum additional amount which is 500 pesos lang. ba? So, nakakatawa. Kung meron kang initial amount na 1,000 pesos, then every month, kung kailangan mo or kung gusto mong magdagdag, kahit 500 pesos, makakapagdagdag ka. Ang kagandaan naman sa mutual fund, uh, hindi tayo required magdagdag monthly. No? Maraming nagtatanong, required ba magdagdag monthly? Definitely not. So, depende ito sa iyong capacity, kung meron kang extra, uh, pwede kang magdagdag. Meron nga lang minimum additional amount, which in this case is 500 pesos lang naman. So, kayang-kaya yan pag-ipunan. And though hindi siya required no, na magdagdag monthly, I myself would encourage you na gawin yung monthly habit yung pag-invest sa mutual fund para of course nakakapag-ipon kayo and nakakasakay tayo dun sa overall trend ng ating market na pataas naman yun. Okay, so pipili lang kayo ng mutual fund and then yung amount and then you just here click preview and then lalagay mo lang yung iyong password and then you can place your buy order. So try lang natin. Ayan, so ito yung ating details no. So, I can now click on return to order entry if you want to invest more. But I can also click here on view orders. Ayan. So, receive na siya. Pero dahil hindi pa naman siya napaprocess, so I can still cancel this. So, so ikakancel ko lang siya because hindi naman talaga ito yung gusto kong gawin. Ayan. Mutual fund cancel by order acknowledgements. Pagdating mo sa return to view order, ayan. So, canceled na siya. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon exactly is gusto nating i-convert yung ating mutual fund investment into cash. Dahil tumubo na tayo ng 13.80% after less than a year. Diba? So, imagine that uh, tumubo yung ating investment ng 13% after less than a year. If, if we compare it sa kinikita ng ating funds sa banko, Napakababa ng banko actually. Uh, less than 0.5% lang yung pwede natin kitayan sa banko. But when we invest in mutual funds, so mas malaki yung possibility of earning. But of course, yung banko kasi is very safe yun. No? So hindi mababawasan yung pera na ilalagay mo doon. Pero sa mutual fund kasi, because we are more than willing to trade off yung tinatawag na risk and return, di ba? pwede tayong malugi dito. So pwede rin, ta pwede rin naman tayong kumita na mas malaki. So ganun naman yun. So hindi natin sila directly compare because they are two different products. But ang general guidance natin is if ang funds mo is hindi mo naman siya gagamitin ng at least 3 years, 5 years, uh, ilagay na natin yun sa mutual fund. Huwag natin yung patulugin sa banko. Alright? So, yun lang yung aking ma-advise sa inyo. So, again, uh, ang kagandaan sa mutual fund, no, we can redeem it anytime. We can monitor it and pag tumutubo na and masaya ka naman na, so pwede nyo naman siyang ibenta agad-agad. 
So that's what we will do today. So madali lang yung step, no? Uh, very, ano naman, very intuitive. So you simply have to go to your portfolio. I just have to click sell here. Okay. And then I have currently 3,146. So saan ang galing itong 3,146? Yun actually yung total shares natin. And saan naman ang galing itong total shares? So pag tinignan kasi natin yung ating history. So view orders, historical orders. So, nanggaling yan dito sa number of shares na nabili ko uh, each time na nagdagdag ako. So, nung April 7, I only have 4,000 pesos na in-invest. So, 146 shares lang yon. I-divide mo lang itong net amount, kung yung nilagay mong funds by yung presyo niya, yung price niya nung nag-invest ka. So, makukuha mo tong shares. Whole number lang. Okay? And then, uh, nung 50,000, so, i-divide mo lang itong 50,000 na nilagay mo. Uh, by the price, makukuha mo itong total shares na 1733 and same process here. And pag sinuma mo yan, uh, makukuha mo yung total na, ayan, so that's 3,146. And if you now want to sell this, I just have to click sell. And then, madali lang, click preview order and enter your password and place sell order. Ayan. Ayan, so pwede na ngayon natin tingnan itong... Uh, view orders and may kita natin receive na siya so bakit siya receive meaning to say receive na siya ni call financial because ito yung ating technically ito yung ating parang mutual fund broker pero ang magpa-process pa nito is yung mutual fund company which is in this case is yung field equity fund so ang gagawin ni call financial is if forward niya yung aking request kay field equity fund and si field equity fund wala siyang choice no na tanggihan yung aking selling. So, lagi nila yung i-honor or i -grant. So, unlike sa stock market, pag direct investor ka, kailangan i-match mo yung presyo ng seller mo. Here in mutual fund, walang ganun. Uh, sasabihin mo lang kay broker mo, kay Call Financial, okay, I now want to sell my shares. And then, si Call Financial, if forward niya yung request kay Phil Equity Fund, and si Phil Equity Fund, automatically ipaprocess ngayon. Okay, so mapaprocess siya mamaya pa because today is uh, 5.03 a.m. So madaling araw. And uh, pasok tayo sa 10.30 a.m. na cut off. So I would expect na uh, i-update ako ni Call Financial pag na-process na ni Phil Equity Fund yung aking request. So it's just a matter of time. Hindi nga naman yan tatanggihan. Kung hindi, um, ipaprocess nila yan agad-agad. Okay, so mag-aantay lang tayo and may kita natin mamaya yung email update for this redeeming ng mutual funds. So if nagtataka kayo, bakit ako nag-decide na ibenta siya? Well, again, as I mentioned, mutual fund is at least 5 years. If you want to do that, okay din yun. Ang kagandaan kasi sa mutual fund, pwede mo siyang ibenta anytime. And ang napansin ko lang kasi dun sa ating index nung ating stock market so if I go to charting no and yung ating index uh, pwede ko makita yung chart nyan dito so PSEI index so ito siya so magiging medyo technical tayo dito no so kung papansin nyo medyo nag crush na siya dito sa ating 50 exponential moving average and lumagpas na siya so this shows na medyo humihina na yung yung uh, bullish power ng ating market and pag tinignan mo din yung MACD, so it's going to zero. So mean to say, um, meron siyang tendency na mag-consolidate pa before pa siya umakyat pa. But for now, no, I just want to lock in yung aking profit. So uh, binenta ko na rin siya. Hindi nyo naman to kailangan gawin because again, yung mutual fund manager, siya na actually yung nagmamanage yung funds mo. But what I'm just saying is, you can still do some timing in terms of your mutual fund. So, pwede kayong mag-time kung kailan kayo mag-i-invest, kung kailan kayo magdadagdag ulit, at kung kailan din kayo magbebenta. So, as you start, uh, hindi nyo pa ito kailangang aralin talaga, but through time, pag nasanay na kayo, so pwede nyo nang aralin yung more active way of investing or more active way of trading kung gugustuhin nyo. But here, I just want to highlight na, uh, you all have the full control. Kailan ka magdadagdag, kailan ka mag-start, and kung kailan ka rin magbebenta. So, nasa sa inyo lahat ng yun. So, yun lang guys yung ating lesson for today about investing in mutual funds. I hope nakatulong ako in terms of giving you the whole picture of investing in mutual funds. And if you like this video, then please do hit the thumbs up button. So, pwede nyo na rin i-click yung share and pati na yung subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber of this channel. 
So yun, so thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video. God bless us all. Bye!